Jennifer Blood, issue number one from Dynamite Comics. So I've heard of Jennifer Blood before, never read any of her previous stuff. I will say that I the, the cover caught my attention and then the name Jennifer Blood. I've heard that name before, never got to read any of her previous stuff, as I said. But this issue does a really good job of catching you up on who the character is, what her history is, and what her goals are. And I thought, awesome, because now someone like me can just jump right into this series and not be completely lost. In fact, that's actually kind of how we start off. So we start off uh, with a new person moving into the town of Bountiful. It's this new woman who kind of catches some of the people's eyes. And it, we quickly find out that this town is actually... The inhabitants are a bunch of mafiosos who are put here from like witness protection. And one of them is uh, telling the story about Jennifer Blood because, you know, they, they see the new person move in and they, they suspect maybe this person is Jennifer Blood. No one else really knows who the hell Jennifer Blood is. So that's how we get our story. And it turns out that Jennifer Blood, her real name was actually Jessica Blood. And she is the daughter of of Sam Blood. And Sam was a mafioso who, who basically set up the whole East Coast operation back in the day. And it turned out that he was murdered in cold blood by his family, his brothers. And I mean, they brutalized the hell out of him. Like we actually see an image, they like sliced him into pieces, stabbed the crap out of him, um, disemboweled him. And Jessica faked her death, went on some kind of training expedition like she just trained her ass off and then she came back under cover as a mom and she got her revenge and she 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 made sure that her uncles paid and everyone who was involved in the death of her father paid and she did it brutally she is not just a vigilante but they also say that she's like a serial killer and i can see why like we see one of her victims is basically hanging upside down from a tree with his guts open and his intestines, you know, spraying out. And we see another scene where she finds Hansi Burke. And she basically slices off his head, slices off his hands, puts them in his favorite barbecue grill. And she even, like, she even forms Burke's hands so that it is the sign language for J and B. And she basically grills him. <laughs> so, yeah, she, she is completely brutal. Uh, she... Uh, when the feds caught her, they actually gave her 52 life sentences. And um, basically they say she only lasted 52 days in lockup before the inmates killed her. But some people believe that she never died. Like she, she, This is another her faking her death and that um, the new girl is Jennifer Blood. So the uh, other mafioso guys are like, all right, you know what? Let's go check it out. So one of them is uh, the sheriff. But he has a criminal record um, and him and his deputies basically go into the, the new house that the new woman moved into. So then they check out this house to realize that it's completely empty. There's no boxes anywhere, no boxes on the first floor or the second floor. Then they decide to go check out the basement. And as they go and check out the basement, they get attacked by a, a blonde haired woman. And at first I thought that this was Jennifer Blood like wearing a wig or something because it she doesn't, I mean, if you look at the cover of the issue, Jennifer Blood doesn't have blonde hair. But no, because as this is going on, Jennifer Blood is somewhere else. She met, actually makes her appearance in front of Marco. And Marco is the mafioso that was telling the story. And it turns out that Jennifer has some kind of beef with them. And she basically shoots him in the head with this trank that kind of paralyzes him, but keeps him aware of his surroundings. He can hear everything. He can see everything. He can even feel everything going on around him. He just can't move. And she taunts him basically like, you know, did you really think you could get away? Like there's nowhere that you can hide that I won't be able to track you and, and hunt you down. And um, you see like Sam, my father, he wasn't stupid. He knew his brothers were jealous of him. He knew that they were even possibly homicidal in that way. Um, but he did trust you because not only were you his driver and his bagman, but you were his friend and you were the one who told him it was safe to meet his brothers and you were the one who ratted him out because his brothers paid him. You're the only one left that I need to get my revenge on and now I'm going to get my revenge. And she does so. And she does so in a really effed up way, 
I'm not going to tell you how. I will just say it involves a pest control van and a very long hose. And um, just trust me on this. It is very, very brutal. But if you want to find out how she brutally gets her revenge on Marco, and if you want to find out who the blonde-haired woman is, then you have to check out this issue. And I do recommend you check out this issue. This issue was really good. I'm really interested. Um, this got me interested enough to think about tracking down the uh, the first volume of Jennifer Blood. Um, I, I like the, the Jennifer Blood character. I love the fact that she is like Punisher, but only more brutal because she doesn't just straight up kill her victims, but she tortures them before killing them, like serial killer style. Like it, it's just brutal what she does, especially to Marco. Like I, the way she gets her revenge on Marco has got to be like one of the worst ways I've ever seen in my life. Um, it is, oh my God, <laughs> it's horrific. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I like this. I like this character. I like what the story is going, you know, the direction is going. Um, I like the little cliffhanger it sets up and how, you know, it sets up with the, the arc and the story is going to be. I'm interested. And uh, yeah, I do recommend this. I would give this issue a 7 out of 10. It, it was really good. So yeah, there you go. There's Jennifer Blood. Issue number one from Dynamite Comics. And yes, definitely go check it out. It's uh, it's awesome. It, it was really entertaining. And I really, really enjoyed it. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me what you think. Has anyone uh, read the first volume of Jennifer Blood? And if so, do you recommend it? Other than that, if you guys have any recommendations for comics or manga, please let me know. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later. So what did you guys think of that video? I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys haven't already, please subscribe, hit that bell for a notification, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far, and I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see, and I hope to see you guys next time. Later.